Ola tweeted that they've got GitHub sponsors and I keep asking and begging all of you to set up GitHub sponsors if it's available in your country. And if it's not, then do get notified. You can put your email address in and get notified when it is available in your country. So this prompted me to think, well, we should probably look at uh, their GitHub sponsors, my GitHub sponsors, and how you can improve your page. Maybe we will sponsor some of you in this video as well. So thank you so much for this video idea. I really, really love it. And I've clicked on the link that you shared. I like how you explained how you got into open source. I think it's really nice to see people's journey. I think that's really, really important. And then um, you've got two uh, repos that you featured down here. Thank you so much for featuring the, the BioDrop repo as well. Absolutely love this. And you haven't done any tiers, and I'm going to show everyone what that means. And you don't have to, you've got a customer month, but sometimes people don't know what the right amount is. So I think by having some custom tiers, and I change mine all the time, it helps people, it prompts people. Like if you give someone a yes or no question, they're going to know kind of which one they want, where if you say do something, they're going to be, mm, what do I do? And it's great that you've got a goal of, of 10 per month, and hopefully we can help you out with that as well. I did retweet your tweet as well, so hopefully that helps too. And this is mine. It probably needs improving as well. I see I've got a, a link-free link, which has been renamed to BioDrop, so I do need to fix that. And here we have got $1 a month, $10. I did have like one, two, three, four, five, ten, and it was just too much. I think it's good to have some options, but you don't want to have too many options. And I put some bigger ones in because there are some companies who do want to spend that much. And I'm going to show you some of the companies that do. So a big shout out to them. So stay tuned. And those are the, probably the companies that you want to contribute to that, their open source projects. Collaborate with them on their Twitter spaces, tweets, and engage with all that stuff. Because you never know, they might sponsor your open source project. So if I hit edit, this is what we get. So you get the short bio. And this is going to be used on the GitHub sponsors page. I think it looks OK. There's always room for improvement. So any suggestions, do let me know in the comments below. And then we've got the the kind of the, the main description here. I'm definitely going to change this to a bio drop so there's no confusion. And now they've got the option to hide your past sponsors. Um, I mean, that's, that's quite interesting. I keep everything public, but I do understand that now in the current climate, sponsors are reducing faster than they are increasing. It doesn't mean you won't get any, but it is more difficult to get some. So I kind of get that well, if I go back a tab, you'll see my past sponsors over the last few years is growing and the current sponsors is reducing. That's always going to happen because past sponsors is not as it is right now. It's the collective, it's the total, whereas current sponsors is what it is right now. So I think that's normal. I don't have any reason to hide it, but I get understand why people have asked for that. I remember it was a highly requested feature. So now I've done that, um, I'm going to update and I recommend opting in to get featured on the github.com uh, sponsors page. Other things you can look for is your goals that I mentioned. So I did set goals, 20 monthly sponsors, 15, actually it was 10, 15, and then 20 is what it was. And I've reached those. I don't know if I'm going to you know, set another goal, 25, and I can do that now um, based on number of sponsors or based on the actual amount. I think the number, because for me, I don't mind if it's $5, $10, or $1. Obviously, the more it is, the more it helps. But I would rather have 20 people giving me one $1 each rather than one person giving me $20. One, because it reduces the kind of risk factor because if you have only one sponsor giving you $20, if that ever stops, then you've got nothing. Um, whereas if you've got 20 people giving you $1 each and one of those stops, you're down to 19. So I think that's pretty good. And also, I'd prefer to see more people wanting to support me, even if it is a smaller amount. So I'm going to put that in and I'm going to say, let's get that to 25. I think if you aim too high, if I put this as like 100, then people are going to think, well, I'm not going to sponsor because I can't really help you get that far because it's so you're so far away from it. So um, I just think 25 um, is a nice number. So I just describe your goal. What can I write? Let me think. Well, I can probably leave it blank. It's, it's giving me a preview down here, no description. I don't like that. So help me reach my next goal. Okay, let me publish that. There we go, and now it's done, and we've got a progress bar. And on my profile, if I refresh it, we should see that says bio drop, but let me just click it and make sure it works. Make sure, make sure I don't do any typos, that works. And you can see we're 80%, so that's now appeared at the top right as well. 
awesome. Do enable one time as well. I think that's really important. Some people do just want to do a one time donation and that's absolutely fine. So I mentioned sponsor tiers before. So you've got custom amounts. I've enabled it and I've recommended um, $5 and I said um, minimum amount $1. And I have enabled um, one-time tiers, but I haven't actually done any custom. If it's just a one-time, I let people type what they want. They've kind of usually got an idea in mind. And I've done these tiers here. And you can see I've retired other tiers. For those people who are sponsoring me on those tiers that are now retired, they will continue to sponsor me until they cancel it. So they will stay on that tier. It won't change their amount. It won't cancel their sponsorship. It's done really well and really nicely. These are the ones I've got. And I'm actually going to show you the, probably the part that you're all looking forward to my sponsors it's a big shout out to all my sponsors and you can see there's a, there's a variety um, I do want to say a big shout out to Appright my biggest sponsor they've been sponsoring me since March this year I think they're going to do it for 12 months so thank you very much I really really appreciate your, your sponsorship it really helps covering hosting costs for the BioDrop project and some of the Eddie Hub uh, projects as well and Daily.dev as well has been sponsoring me for almost yeah, two years almost two years now so I think there's a tweet for that coming out shortly as well. And let's go back to some of my older sponsors as well. Big shout out to some of my older sponsors who've been doing this a while as well. And do keep an eye on the activity feed. Then you can see who has started, who has stopped. And you can just see kind of what's going on. This is like the, the timeline. I think that's really useful and really important rather than the kind of latest snapshot. You can do newsletters, and I wonder if that's something you use on your GitHub sponsors, or that's something you'd like to receive if you're sponsoring me. What information would you like to see? I don't want to kind of spam people with information. I tweet a lot of stuff because I'm already quite public and open about it. But I could give more behind the scenes and more information on this via the newsletter. So let me know what you think. I know that people can also unsubscribe from it. So even if they want to continue to sponsor me, but they're not interested in getting the newsletter, they can unsubscribe from it. But that is, uh, is something that I probably should look into. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. Do share your GitHub usernames in the links below so I can actually see your GitHub sponsors page. I'd love to take a look. And I did say I would sponsor some people. So let's, uh, let's have a look at Ola. Let's give the sponsor per month. If I give them $5. Um, the only downside of not having actual kind of suggestions is you have no rewards. So here it says there's no rewards. You might not give any, but you also might be happy to do a tweet once a month for that person or always a one-off tweet to say thank you. I mean, there's various things you can do for, for different levels. So I think that's uh, pretty awesome and worth doing. So now you can see it says I've helped them to their, their progress. I'll be their second sponsor. They got one already. Let me go back a page. If I refresh. Someone beat me to it. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to be your first sponsor, but I'm actually your second. It, they weren't there a few minutes ago, so they just beat me. Right, let's be the second sponsor. So they're getting closer to their 10 uh, sponsors per month, which I think is awesome. I'm, I'm happy to keep mine uh, public. I don't need to keep it uh, private. Receive email updates, yes, I would like to. Do it as an individual. And that's it, $5 a month. Uh, let's sponsor them. Perfect. And uh, let's do a screenshot. Let's keep that. Thank you very much. And we should, if I refresh, we should now appear. We haven't appeared. Maybe there is a, some delay, but we will appear there as well. Well, it says success true in the URL, so that's looking good. Oh, it does say I'm a sponsor up here. So let's see what happens. Go check out the link and let me know what you think as well. And Ola's link to their gear sponsors is in the description below.